Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. Yes, I am wearing a Christmas hat. No, it's not Christmas. I do know that. It's just my hair looks like a mess. In fact, it is the 18th of March today. Okay, so today is a slightly different setup you might see behind me. Let us know if you do like this kind of stuff. Up here on the iPad, as you can see, there's some pictures of like our Instagram, which is on our blog brother's account. I'll link all the stuff down below. As usual, that's our Instagram. If you want to see some more pictures like that, go and follow us over there. But anyway, if you don't know already, we do run another channel called Blog Brothers. Head over there, we do um, kind of like travel logs and blogs and stuff. So that'd be really cool to see you guys over there. I'll put a card to our Blog Brothers account up here on the right. So that is our Blog Brothers channel. Please go and head over and subscribe and follow us on our Instagram page, which will be linked below. Okay, so today's video, we are going to be talking about the microphone that we use. I'm not using it now, obviously, because I'm holding it and it's got nothing plugged in. But the microphone that we usually use, uh, mainly on our Wednesday videos, but this is the microphone that we usually use. I'm going to be talking to you about the specs of it, but not too much. And I'm going to be telling you what we use it for and basically what's good and bad about it. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the microphone from Red 5. It's the RV6 unidirectional microphone. So I think that basically means it only records from this side and not this side, which is pretty neat. I'm basically just going to take you through what is good about this microphone. Okay, so first let's just get some boring specs out of the way because some of you guys might be interested. I'm not completely interested. I just want to know how well it works. Basically, all this thing is is a unidirectional microphone. It's got a lot of range so we can record. I think the maximum input it's got is 130 decibels. That's when you've got like a power switch turned on, but I'll get onto that in a minute. So it does have a phantom power, which as I said, does make it record up to 130 decibels. That's basically like a 48 volt input, which gives this thing a bit more power to record your voice or your vocals or whatever you're using it to record. Okay, so the reason why we got this is because it can record multiple different things. So it can record vocals, acoustic instruments, overheads like drums and stuff, wind instruments and percussion instruments. That's really quite cool. That's why we got it. Mainly we got it before we started this channel, we got it for our music. So that's the reason why we got this, but we do use it to record vocals as well. And as you can probably tell, it works really well for that as well. Okay, so that is the specs of the RV6 from Red5. That's all out of the way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what is brilliant about this microphone, and then I'm going to go to what's bad about it. And then finally, I'm going to tell you whether you should go and buy it or not. Okay, so good things about this microphone. First thing is the look of it and the weight. It feels really super high quality. It's like a nice kind of brushed dark grey kind of metal, it doesn't look cheap. For what it is, it's really good. The thing that I really like about this is it kind of cancels out all the noise in the background. So if you've got a bit of noise coming from, I don't know, the windows outside or anything, or from downstairs, this kind of cancels it out. As I said, it's unidirectional, so it only records what's coming from my voice into the microphone. So it does cancel out a lot of noise, which is really useful when you're recording, especially if you're in a house and the rest of your family are doing stuff downstairs. Okay, so the second good thing about this microphone is it can be used to record a range of different things. So not only vocals, you can record instruments, percussion, vocals. That's basically all you can record really, but that's all you're gonna really want to record with this thing. So that's just kind of a telling you that you can use it to record like guitar and stuff. Yeah, so, um, Brilliant for recording a range of different things. Okay, so something that you might notice when you're listening to some of our videos or the videos that we record directly off the camera using the camera's microphone, you should get like a little hum in the background, like a buzzing noise. And that is the noise that's generated by the camera. Sometimes you get the same thing with microphones that you buy. So basically, this doesn't really have much to cancel out the noise that it makes. The only benefit is that it doesn't make any noise whatsoever. So basically what they've done is instead of trying to reduce like cancel out the noise that it does make, they've just thought we'll cut that, we'll just make sure it doesn't make any noise. So the great thing about this is when you're recording you don't get any noise of the microphone like humming in the background. That is brilliant, it just cuts out all the noise in the background which is fantastic. Okay, so the fourth thing about this microphone that is really good is the size of the diaphragm. It can pick up a massive dynamic range, so you can shout at it, you can whisper at it, you can speak at it from a really quite like long distance and it can still pick up the vocals which is brilliant. I think the distance that it can pick up at is 50 centimeters, and that's in an anechoic chamber. You can obviously do a little bit more, you can pump up the volume a bit and mess around with it, but I don't really know why you're gonna be a meter away from your microphone unless you're holding it in some really bizarre way like this. Okay, so the fifth and final thing that I think is brilliant about this is it does record your vocals as like a flat audio. It doesn't give you like any coloration so you don't have super pumped up treble or super, super pumped up bass or anything. It does even cancel out if you've got like a really thumping bass in the background. It cancels out some of that so it doesn't cut out all of your vocals. It just kind of levels it out and gives you this nice flat equal tone, which is really nice, which you can kind of edit a little bit more. You've got a little bit more range which you can adjust in your music editing software. So those are the six main good things about this microphone. 
It's the RV6 Red 5 audio. You've got the phantom power, which gives it like a lot of different range. You've got really nice look to it. Feels really heavy, feels high quality. Cancels out like background noises behind it. Um, has like a low hum, doesn't have any like noise in the background of the right phone actually operating. Um, I can't even remember what all I said, but that's basically all the six things about this microphone that is really good. Okay, so the bad things about this microphone are few and far between. Personally, as I said at the beginning, I don't really have anything to compare this to, but I would say there's one slight problem that I find with it. It may just be me and my ability to edit the audio afterwards, but it does feel like it cuts out too much of the range. As I said earlier, it gives it this nice flat tone, so you can do a little bit more tweaking of it, but sometimes it feels like it's cut out too much bass and too much treble of your voice, so you've kind of just got this monotonal voice, and however much you try and speak higher and lower to try and get a bit more range, it seems to just cancel those out, which can be a little bit annoying, but you can, as I say, you can probably tweak it a little bit more in your music editing software. Second problem, it's not so much of a problem, it's just kind of a nag that kind of annoys me, is that it only records from one side forwards. Good thing, it cancels out the stuff behind it. Bad thing, if you're facing it the wrong way around and you record the whole vocals of your video and then you get to the end of editing it and you realise I've had my microphone back to front. But that's just because of me being stupid. So as you can see on the front of it there, it says Red 5 Audio and it has these little buttons. That is the side that you want to be facing towards you when you're recording it. So if you're facing it this way and there's just nothing on the back of it, you know you've got it the wrong way around. So that is just me being stupid mainly. Okay, so the, the third problem with this microphone is when you're recording, you do pretty much have to have it like straight up vertical when you're recording, because as I said, it only records on this bit. You have a little bit of adjustment depending on where you're recording, but you can't like record like head on, like that, or backwards. So it's only got one section which it records from, which is a little bit annoying, but I suppose that's just what a unidirectional microphone does. Okay, so that is just the main stuff about the microphone out the way and done. As I said, there are like six benefits and there's only three like things that annoy me about it, but like two out of three of those are just me being stupid and not being able to use a microphone properly. So overall this is a brilliant microphone and brilliant for like start if you're starting recording stuff. It's a little bit expensive I think from what I can remember, but you can just get cheaper microphones, but this is just one option if you want to get an RV6 Red Audio whatever it is, RV6, I'll link it down below. Okay, so the brilliant thing about that microphone is you can buy it like either separately so you can just get the microphone or you can buy it in like a box, which you might be wondering what this black box is behind me for that, the whole video. You can buy it in a box where you get um, a couple of accessories, you don't get many, um, and then on their website you can get lots of different accessories for the microphone and for your microphone stand and all that kind of stuff. The box is a little bit more expensive, but you can get a couple of other things in it. So I'm just gonna take you through what's in the box and then we can get back to the video. Okay, so this is the box. It's brilliant if you just want to be carrying it around with you. It is a little bit large as you can see. So that's about how thick it is compared to my hand there. It's pretty rugged, so it does protect the microphone really well, but it is a bit of a pain in the ass if you're carrying it around. So it does protect the microphone really well, but it does look a bit stupid if you're just carrying it around with you. Okay, so in the box, so what I'll do now is I'll put in some videos of what's actually inside the box so you can see, but I'm just going to take you through on here as well. So as you can see, we've got these nice foam cutouts within the box here, which fit, obviously, the microphone in the left or the right, depending on how I film this. Fits the microphone down here at the bottom. Really, like, fits in really well, actually. Like, you can slot it in there and it doesn't fall out. It's kind of held in quite rugged and sturdy. Obviously, provides a lot of protection. Then, coming to the middle here, this is basically a windshield. If you're wondering what it is. If you are from the UK and you've seen the Queen's Guards, or whatever they're called, the Grenadier Guards, they wear these things on their heads. They're not as windshields, they're just hats that they wear. So yeah, so this is basically if you're recording outside and you want to protect your microphone from like the wind noise, just kind of shove it over the top of the microphone like this. So it's got a little busby on the top, and then you can just record like if you're singing outside, if you're giving some vocals outside and you've got wind, it cancels out the wind noise. I haven't really tried it, but that's basically what it does. Okay, so going back to the box, this is basically some weird cobweb thing magic that you attach to your microphone stand. So as I said at the beginning of the video, we got this microphone mainly just for recording audio for our music channel. So basically what this does is it absorbs shock. So if you knock your microphone stand, then this thing in the middle does move up and down here, as you can see. It's on like a spring here, so your microphone will sit in the middle of this, like this. That's where your microphone will sit. It'll be sitting in here, you'll have like your lead coming up the bottom here, 
and then this screw fixing will go onto your microphone stand. So this is the microphone stand that we've got. It can go on the top here. So you see where this grey thing is, it kind of screws on the top there. So if you don't want to record separately without using this weird spindle like thing, you can record separately, but you do need to use this little grey adapter which is also included in this pack with this weird little replacement screw thing. So basically all you do here is you attach this bit to your microphone stand, the bit at the top, that bit kind of there screws in, and then you can use this weird lever thing here to adjust this so you can move this bit up and down and then lock it into place and then you screw in your microphone like that and it goes on and then obviously through the bottom here this is where your lead goes in so you can actually record your audio. Okay so as I said this box you can either buy separately or you can buy with a microphone. Um, it's a little bit more expensive but it does include that weird spider thing that absorbs the shock, the wind muffler that stops the wind noises and then obviously this adapter so you can put it onto a microphone stand. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. That is the RV6 Red 5 Audio microphone from Red 5 Audio that they've made. Really good, I would give it, definitely I would suggest going out and buying it if you want to get a kind of semi-decent mid-range microphone. There are much better microphones, there are worse microphones. This one's kind of a mid-range one. Mid-range in the price as well, you can get a lot of different accessories for it, you can get pop shields, different wires, different cables, different stuff to go on it, as I said, that little crab spider thing is an accessory that came in the box, or you can get it separately. So there are like six benefits I think I told you, and there's like three downfalls. Two of them just me being stupid and not being able to use a microphone, but those are basically what I've got to tell you about the Red 5 Audio, the RV6 microphone from Red 5 Audio. So I hope you liked the video guys, if you did please give a thumbs up, if you didn't please give a thumbs up. Don't forget we have got another channel called Blog Brothers, those pictures you've been seeing going all the way through that iPad up there have been from our Instagram page, so if you do like the pictures up there head over onto our Instagram page and go and follow us over there. And then our Blog Brothers account New videos every Saturday, vlogs, montages, etc. So thanks for watching guys. There will be a video next Saturday and there will be a video Wednesday. The video on Wednesday is pretty cool so don't make, make sure you don't miss out on that video because that's kind of pretty cool what we've made there. So thanks for watching guys. Live long and prosper. Yes I know it's still Christmas. I'm going to take this hat off now.